Hello everybody, my name is the Fireman and welcome back to episode 45 of our Let's Play on Spring Hill Farm. So, it is time to go out seeding. I have sprayed everything with BB, well, BB and they've all got MPK on them as well. So, this field, 17, 20 and 21 have all got it. We are going to sell field 1 because it is a fairly big field and I don't want to keep I don't want to be sh stuck having to uh, trying to look after it and it's just not going to have it so we'll just stick to these fields for now because even then that did that took some time to get them all planted so we'll get all this sorted out get this planting done so it is having barley in it, uh, it needs to be on that course. Dear. Field 15, feeding. Uh, is that the first waypoint? Yes, I think it is. Right, we're going to go out in the big massy and go collect these bales in off the grass fields. And we're going to go get rid of them, so we're going to go sell them, or we're going to just... Because they, they were silage bales, I think I know what happened. The little wrapper that I was using, I tried to make, have a black wrapping on, and I think that's what threw all the bales off, so... Wheel. So let's go do that. So that should be okay. That um, They should all be alright now. They've got all the weed prevention and stuff on them now. So They should be good for growing and doing that. All the grass fields I've sorted out. All the grass fields that we own I've sorted out actually, should I say. So everything is actually okay. Um, I don't have the FS UK thing loaded up for soil mods, so I know what I'm doing. Because I think I've got it now. Uh, to get the N and the PK up, you just spray MPK, and then you always have to put a herbicide down, I think, with a BB or something. And then to get the pH back up, you just put lime on the field. And if you plow it in, it becomes. If you put lime on the field and then plow it in, it'll give you a stronger boost. So let's say they went right down, like they went pretty much to absolutely nothing. Then we do it, then we could be able to. Oh, right, we need to go to. What What does it say on them? It says silage. It, it, so we need to go on to grass, silage, mixed. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Oh, I just banged my mic with my headset. So, yeah. So, where it says 6.6 .6 nutrients. So, that's a, that's a healthy field. That's actually an okay field. But it's had MPK and all that on it, so it should be alright. If you put lime on it and then plow the lime in, it'll give you a stronger boost to the next growth cycle. But if you just leave the lime on top, I think it'll I think it'll give the same effect. It'll still sort itself out, but it won't give you such a big boost. So I reckon we'll we'll put it on when we really, really need to. Like when they do really need lime. We'll stick it on then. And I think that's all the bales collected. You know, we only made about sixteen. Alright, so let's go get them sold, and then that's this job done. And I think we're going to purchase... Oh no, we're okay for cows and that. So yeah, people said they were glad to see, to see this map come back, which is really good, because I'm glad to play it, but I'm also glad that it's got soil mod on it, so it's made my... So that's kept everyone happy, because people said they wanted to see me play with soil mod. Now, that's got straw in that in it. The next growth cycle will actually get rid of all of that, which I want it to do. I just want it all gone. Because I only really did that to mowing purposes, to record the courses for mowing. Which I could get rid of the two little side mowers and just buy the big set of mowers for this thing. Which I may do. So we won't be waiting for so long. But I do like having the side mowers because it means we can get smaller tractors to do stuff as well as the biggest. 
yeah, slurry can go on the grass fields. That, that, that I think that boosts nutrients. I think that boosts nutrients and PK. I don't know. I don't know which one it boosts the most. Okay, so there's a little bit of a glitch. Every time you uh, seem to do that. Oh, there we go. So that's all them gone. That's the bale trailer empty then. So we can start. Well, we can't really start anything actually. Well, we could. We could purchase a couple more fields just around the area. I, I, I want to go for a couple just up the road from our actual farm, which will make life a bit easier. Which means we can then spray spray them with weed and MPK. Well, not weed. Not weed as in the drug, but weed repellent. I should have said repellent after weed, but I didn't. <laughs> so it sounds like I'm going to get the fields high. But we're not. So yeah, they've all they've all had everything. They've had all their MPKs and stuff. They should be okay. I, I don't know whether you on the grass ones you spray them again, but I will check them. I will check all the fields at every growth cycle. So we need to get all the seeding done. Then the next growth cycle, I will check them and see what they all want. If they need lime, I don't think they'll want lime putting on them just yet. To be fair, I think you can get like two or three harvests out of them before you have to put lime on them. This is the field I want to go for. That's 12,000. How much are you? Oh, you're about 15,000. So that's two two fairly big ones to replace field one. Oh. Well, I've done field five as well, but I've sold it, so. So yeah, that's two big ones that need sorting out. But as you can see, they are nutrients. They've got MPK of two and N of four. So they just want a reed, weed repellent and MPK you're putting on, on them before they get sprayed, well before they get seeded and then they should be good to go. Because that means when the growth cycle kicks in, like when this, when he's finished seeding and the growth cycle kicks in for the crop, um, there will actually be enough MPK to last them a couple of days before they actually need any more. Back up, back up. And I think as long as you put MPK down on the last growth cycle before the harvest, you should get a good yield out of them. As long as you don't put... As long as it needs it, so... Right, we're going to quickly just go spray them two fields and get them ready. Even if we just put the weed on them. Weed repellent, I should... I keep saying weed. I don't mean weed. Weed repellent. Cows are okay on the feed. So yeah, I could replace them two mowers and just put the big set on this thing. Which would make life a lot easier, but I like having the little mowers to the stain. Right, so you've got MPK in you. And let's fill up. It's quite expensive stuff, this. Roll out. Let's roll out. Whoop, boop, just broke the tank. So here's our little T5 that has been spraying forever. I have been spraying every field with this. But I'm going to record a course for this. For this piece of sprayingness. So we'll record a course for this, hopefully. Well, actually, it's not a f big field. I've recorded a course for field 15. Right, so let's go. Come on. Right, so MPK is going down first. 
to uh, liven them up. Because it doesn't matter if it goes up and the crop's in it, because the crop will take it down anyway. So, oh, this is going to do it in about, about three passes. Well, that corner's okay. On every field I've missed a corner like that, but it should be okay. And then just one quick pass up the middle. And then we'll uh, start field six. So this is field seven. And then it can have weed repellent on it, and then we'll be done. And then that's it. So that shouldn't shouldn't need touching for a bit, even with the crops in it. It'll only want MPK in it when it goes down. And then even then I can just dunk a load of lime on it if I need to. I think you can put lime in a field whilst there's no you can't whilst there's crops in it because it'll, uh, it'll just get rid of them. So as long as we have enough nutrients in the soil to keep it ready, keep it going for the harvest, then we should be okay. Oh, that's going to hit that gate, I reckon. Uh, I might have gone a bit too far over here. Yeah, I have. So we need to get right up on that line then. Which you are not on. There we go. So yeah, I am going to get a new texture for the soil mod because that has come out. New weed textures, um, new MPK looking textures, new manure slurry textures. So I shall uh, do all of that. I shall add them all in off screen. And then we should. It should look an, a lot nicer. I do like Spring Hill Farm. I, I did admit I was missing it, I do admit. But when you don't have soil mod on it, it just. You start running into the same problem as we're doing everything the exact same every single episode. But now. We will be doing the exact same, but it will be helping us. And we'll spend a lot more time in the fields as well. We won't be just stood around waiting for stuff to happen. There'll always be a field that wants MPK or a field that wants its herbicide back on it. Or... So yeah, there'll be lots of that to do. There always is. So yeah, we're going to pull up. I'll do the textures on it tonight, and then... So this is the other video I have to do today, because I normally put two video out, videos out a day, which is kind of weird. I put two out, but... Um, I may get the weather wheels this thing well and just download it because then when I do when it does the spraying course it will actually look like tram lines instead of just nothing there in the field which will look quite nice right they're done let's go swap it over right so here's seeding barley it's nearly finished this field so we can go to oh shit Why have you gone right over here? I didn't realise that the ridge markers were down. Oh god, that could have wrecked the game. So I don't know why he's missing bits, but we'll, we'll we can go grab them at the end. Which row are you on? Why are you so far out? What? What the hell? Why the hell have you got that on, you dingus? You silly little dingut. Alright, so this T. All this T5 has really done this spray. 
um, we'll put the BB thing in it and get the weed prevention just before the weeds even appear because then it, it saves it we'll, we'll always have to put after three days we will have to re-pot it down again on the um, on all the fields because the weeds will appear after three days change it to you you have to be near the tank this is the only problem the front bit actually has to be next to the near the tank to actually be swapped I can't just swap it right so actually he's working a little bit better now we'll still have to go around and get everything after he's done then he can go up to field 17, which is another field that's done. Then he can go to 20. Then he'll go field 20, then 21, and then he'll go up to do field 6 and 7. The last two on the run. Uh, we've got lots of bales in there, they're okay. Right, let's put this down. Let's make sure these pesky little weeds do not appear. Because they can cause absolute shit when they do. Apparently if you leave, leave weeds long enough they do take nutrients out of the soil which we do not want. So as long as we keep on at the top of them. As long as we keep on top of them we should be okay. Which to be fair we actually think, I think we might actually will be. I think we will be on top of them actually. Yes, look at that, we even got the corner piece. That corner is not going to cause us any problems with weeds. I think I think you've run out more of the bee of the herbicide. I think it's a lot more liquidized, so it comes out of the tank a lot faster. Whereas I think MPK is a little bit thicker, so it comes out a little bit slower. Oh, let's turn. Just go sh sh straight up the middle. T to be fair, even if we've got bits, this will make sure we've got all of it. And then it's just on to that field, and then happy days. So the cedar has finished, so we'll move him on in a minute. We'll get this finished and then we'll move on. We'll, we'll move him on. Yep. Right, so we can just wait for that to unfold. We'll stop. Get rid of. Right, so that is... As you can see, it's got three to two, so it has it has got it has been sprayed with MPK. It just hasn't done a growth cycle yet, so it won't have actually changed. And then after and then after the first growth cycle, that should change and put it up to what it should be. Just going to try and get rid of all the big bits in the middle of the field. And this should push it all back. This should push the MPK and the nutrients. Well, actually, no. This should push the PK and the N back up. Back up to five, and it needs to be five and four to get a perfect harvest, which I don't think it will. But as long as we get it close, if we can get it to four, 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 or something like that, that'd be, I'd be happy with that. If we can get something off these fields. But that means I'll probably do a growth cycle on the last growth cycle I'll always do probably on screen so we can spray all the nutrients and that on the last growth cycle 
Right, so you're in here now. We need to get to that of 17. Okay, there is no seeding course for F17. I did not know that, so let's just do... Field 17. A <laughs> couple of headlands. It is 6 million, we'll put you down to about 5. Go. No, we don't need to go that way, we need to go the other way. Need to go the other way. I don't know what happened there. My back was killing, so I had to push my chair out. There we go. First headland. I mean, first point is over here. So this is this field's also had all this MPK and that uh, first waypoint is here. So er, well, every every field is ready. Should we say every field? I in my mind is ready to be planted because I have no idea what I'm doing but you know we can just casually keep playing as I do so yeah I know how to get the nutrients back up in the soil I think this is how you get rid of weeds well this is this is how I know you get rid of weeds spreading MPK will fix both of them I think it doesn't just fix one of them and then you put lime on the field and plow it in if you want a stronger boost in the nutrients. If you don't want a stronger boost, just leave it on top of the field and just let it soak in. Or cultivate it in. So yeah, we have to do that at some point. Because I, I don't know how many harvests you can get away with before you actually need to fix them. But as you can probably tell, we have to do all this, even though I've been playing on this map for... Like a hundred and I think we're on a hundred and six hours now. So this is so most of the fields that we did harvest completely, just one after each other, will, are probably wrecked by now. So they will need a lot of attention and a lot of care and attention, shall we say? And I think herbicide adds a nutrient, adds um, I don't know what herbicide does to it. I don't know whether it adds a bit of a boost to the growth or of, it, of it, or doesn't, but you know. Now we're, on, now we're running on the front tank, so the front tank best be set on BB. And then we'll just quickly do another run down that bit to make sure we've got it all. It's kind of hard to tell when you've uh, got all of it. Uh -oh. Right, that's done. Hold you up. Let's get you going. Let's get you back in there. We'll just leave the T5 hooked up to this for now. Well, hooked up for this. Show you the gateway of destiny. Oh, it's probably stuck on something it normally fucking is. Well, actually, knowing that. Um, knowing that TS11 feel. Jesus, that hiccup was horrible. Um, knowing that TS-115, it is probably stuck on a tree. Because it does like to wrap itself around trees. Okay, we just got stuck on the edge. Right, we can get rid of all of that. Well, actually, let's save it. Dump, that's that field saved. That. We'll just leave that for now. Oh, and there's you, you little bastard. Right, I have also done these fields. They have all been sprayed with PK, well, MPK. I'm thinking about plowing this hedge in here. If we plow this hedge in, and then just make this one massive field and just do a one big course for it, that would be quite nice, actually. 
I don't know what's out here. Into the abyss. There is a sheep. He's behind the border. To be fair, none of these sheep would actually be here. They'd probably have all just ran down here, ran out of here, and just be in here. Oh, look, you can get in here. Just exploring the map that is sort of half broken. But anyway. Right, so he's going to say he's stuck again. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, when you come back, hopefully these guys... I will make sure that this guy's finished when you come back. Well, when I record the next episode. This guy's finished. The All the fields are finished and are, and are on the first growth cycle. So we can check what they need to be sprayed with. And everyone can see how it's done. But, well, everyone can see how it's done badly. But anyway, leave a like if leave a like down below if you enjoyed subscribe more today and i shall see you all in the next video happy fun